great white shark is the result of millions of years of evolution. Its medium to large build has helped it become one of the apex predators of the ocean, but this doesn't mean that it's immune to attacks. For 10 years there was a great white shark mystery that baffled many researchers. A 9 foot great white shark was eaten whole by another creature. According to Australian scientists, the 3 metre or 9 foot great white shark had been tagged, but researchers were confused after the tag had washed up on a beach 2.5 miles away from where it was attached. This is something that doesn't normally happen, so the scientists checked the data from the tag, and it was here that the mystery deepened. The information revealed to the scientists that the device suddenly dropped in depth to around 580 metres, or 1,900 feet, with the researchers also noting that there was a temperature increase from 46 degrees Fahrenheit, or 8 degrees Celsius, to 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 25.5 degrees Celsius. The temperature then remained at its highest temperature for eight days. Dave Riggs, who worked closely alongside researchers and who filmed a documentary about the incident, revealed that he and the team were surprised by the discovery, saying the following, When I was first told about the data that came back from the tag that was on the shark, I was absolutely blown away. The question that not only came to my mind but everyone's mind who was involved was what did that? It was obviously eaten. End quote. The issue came when researchers suggested that the nine foot great white shark was eaten whole, with the team saying that a colossal great white shark was the likely culprit. The team even suggested that it may have been taken down by a great white shark that had grown to supersized proportions after suffering from gigantism. The researchers said they came to this conclusion after studying the data, saying that the smaller great white shark was likely eaten whole. However, this hasn't gone down well with some people, with them saying that a 15 foot great white shark has never been observed in the wild eating a 9 foot great white shark. This could have been one of the reasons behind why the team suggested that an even larger great white shark was involved. Very rarely have great white sharks been seen attacking their own. When this does happen, it's usually an accident, or it's done by mistake. For example, back in 2019, a great white shark was allegedly seen attacking another, but what actually happened was a team had put out a piece of bait attached to a rope, and when two great whites came in to attack it, the team moved the bait out of the way, which in turn caused one of the sharks to accidentally bite the other and as soon as it done this, it let go, with both sharks swimming away. Those who have read the story suggested that the shark who ate the smaller shark was actually much bigger, pointing that one of the most well-known great white sharks known as Deep Blue is thought to be over 21 feet in length, and Australians commented on the post saying that great whites over 25 feet exist. So there's a chance that one of these big sharks took out the smaller great white, Many questions still remain though. Was the shark eaten whole as the researchers said? Or was the tag just bitten off? Is it likely that a 16 foot shark would be able to eat a 9 foot shark? One person said what many were thinking. Wouldn't it have to be a lot bigger than 16 feet for a 9 foot shark to fit wholly in its digestive system? I think that a shark over 20 feet would be able to do this but nine feet is still pretty big. Whatever ate this shark hole must have been massive. End quote. Also known as the largest predatory fish on the planet, they boast an average length of 15 feet and can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. With a torpedo-shaped body whose tail sends them speeding through the waters, they can latch onto their prey with 300 serrated and triangular teeth. However, they may not be the all fearsome predators you think they are. In fact, evidence suggests that they could even be prey to some larger sea creatures. That's exactly what a newly released study proves, as scientists believe that somewhere out there in the large Pacific Ocean, there's great white sharks that are being attacked by massive squids. So how do scientists know this? 
They know this because the large scars and sucker marks that are found on great white sharks. Although this may sound like a movie, there's documented research that such encounters have occurred. They mostly take place near Baja, California. In the examination of 14 great white sharks during a span of five years, most of them developed unique scars on their head before they reached adulthood. Such wounds suggest that a squid tried to defend itself from the shark. Because of their proximity to the volcanic island, which is known for being a feeding site for most apex predators, encounters between sharks and cephalopods are not unique. However, there are not too many documented interactions between great whites and larger squids, which makes these findings especially mysterious. It's definitely not impossible either. In the region of Great White Shark Territory, there are several squid hotspots with a huge variety, ranging from foot-long neon flying squids to giant squids that can grow to a huge length of 46 feet. This sheds plenty of light upon the fact that squids play a big role for adult Great Whites. What's we'll even cooler is the depths that these fights take place. Not only are they deep, but they also take place in the twilight zone, which is the layer of water that even sunlight cannot penetrate, at around 650 and 3,300 feet deep. In the end, the scientists have said that the squids are most likely causing these scars. However, they do believe that the culprits are likely the jumbo squid, the neon flying squid and the giant squid. No matter what, one thing is for sure that these marks are certainly indicative of an extremely aggressive encounter between predator and prey. If the squid is strong enough, then the suction power of their arms and tentacles can deform the shark's dermal denticles and cause open wounds. It seems that the great white shark may have met his match. Google Moon allows anyone to explore the lunar surface. There's various images that you'll be able to see, some of which were taken during the famous moon landings. Google Moon has already mapped out areas like the famous Apollo landings, along with various other sites across the lunar surface. Someone that was exploring the lunar terrain though has discovered something unexpected. They said that they often look through Google Moon, but on this occasion found various structures stating that they range from what appear to be large blocks to elongated structures. Not much information can be found about the images taken, but the person who shared these images said this isn't the first time that strange things have been discovered on the moon, going on to say that people and groups that share these types of discoveries are always finding strange things on the lunar surface. One person said the following about the photograph, I don't think these are craters as you can see craters right next to this thing. In terms of how big it is, I'd say it's very big when compared to things around it. End quote. Other people who saw the photograph began to speculate whether this was something like water, noting that scientists have come forward in recent years and said that the moon holds water. Our moon has a rather bizarre phenomenon we're still trying to puzzle our way through. There's lunar water on the moon, despite us not being able to observe a water cycle similar to ours on Earth. A recent study has reported clear evidence that there's water molecules on the surface of or held within the grains of the lunar soil. If we can research what kinds of water are available here, and precisely what that water is, then we may be able to fathom out this seemingly magical water cycle of the moon. Another study with groundbreaking revelations found small areas of the moon that are within a permanent shadow. This creates a cold enough environment for ice to form, with researchers saying that the space of these areas covers 15,400 square miles. Currently guesses indicate that the water cycle on the moon is carried through hydrogen in solar wind, and that's reacting with the oxygen on the surface. This is a stark contrast to our rain, rivers and seawater cycle here on Earth. Other suggestions have guessed that the lunar water travels, migrating to remain in a shadowed zone, 
as opposed to one with the sun. Exactly how this happens still requires plenty of further research. Jessica Sunshine, a University of Maryland planetary scientist, says that these new findings suggest a much more complex process than we thought before. The practical application once we figure this out would be remarkable. This research has useful implications as to how humans may be able to travel, not only to the moon but also further beyond. The next NASA mission, Artemis, aims to place the first woman and next man on the moon. If we can understand the moon's water cycle before then, then we may be able to convert the water into a resource for energy. One trial for the lunar water to withstand is the harsh climate of the moon, with a high of 121 degrees Celsius, and a more than chilly low minus of 133 degrees Celsius. It wouldn't be improbable for the water to evaporate, especially without a thick atmosphere. But luckily for us, even in the sun there are still traces of water, though these are faint. Based upon current observations, there appears to be 12 ounces of lunar water to one cubic meter, meaning the water whilst existent is very sparse. This is 100 times drier than the Sahara Desert. While there is water present on the moon, we need to conduct more observations, more analysis and more research before we can take action with this discovery. Once we know a little more about this intricate process, we may need to implement some man-made intervention for this water to be used, due to its limited supply. This research is being referred to by some as the slow revolution. While new progress is being made, and we're slowly beginning to make a clearer picture, the tedious process could still take decades of more research. Researchers completing this project report that despite having a difficult job, the work is rewarding, and know that the findings will be worthwhile. It's not just water that's on the moon. Amateur researchers who have spent large amounts of time looking through old moon photographs have said they've discovered something strange. Right now though, there's a group of people asking Elon Musk to go to the moon, and saying they want him to investigate a mysterious anomaly saying that whatever this thing is, it needs to be investigated as it looks like a giant ship, comparing it to a Muamua, and even an advanced ship. Some of those who have seen the photograph have said it's real, and that this could be proof that something else has visited the moon. Interestingly, just recently, scientists have said that life may have made its way to our moon, and this was after a meteorite made contact with the lunar surface. Two senior planetary researchers said the moon actually has the correct conditions to support simple life forms, saying that these could have been present on the moon 4 billion years ago. Other amateur researchers have said it's entirely possible that something could have made contact with our moon, and that it may have been left behind, going on to say that this isn't the first time that something odd has been found here. NASA scientists though have said that this photograph doesn't show anything of interest, and that they've never found any evidence of life on the moon, further saying that the most likely explanation for these photographs is that they're just camera anomalies. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.